local state national and the world WRED presents the news now We all know Nico can't hold a crush for more than a week and a half. Last week it was Molly P, last month it was KDS, and who remembers who it was before that? Anyway, it was recently reported by Imani that Shanice heard from Deandra that Nico told Peter R that he had been texting Alexis Stevens. Robbie from Queens said that he had already made it to second base, but everyone knows that's fallacious. I mean, doesn't everyone remember when Robbie from Queens told everyone that he was being a hunna about Mr. Andrea being fired after he was arrested for drug possession, but everyone found out later that the reason for his absence was the death of his daughter in a horrific railway accident. Anyway, back to Nico and Alexis. Maxwell now has beef with Nico because it's been on and off between Maxwell and Alexis since the 8th grade. And he even told Nico that he was going to ask her out as soon as he wasn't grounded. Other than Maxwell getting tight, a recent poll showed that 87% of seniors approved of Nico's crush, while 13% said that they were confused why there was only one option on the survey. In other news, Jen is on crutches again. Big news there. The consensus seems to be that either she's even dumber than she looks, or that she liked the attention she got when she first broke her big toe in ninth grade. In a statement released by Carly Toll, a respected figure at school, through her Twitter handle, Lele73, at Janelle97, I hope you feel better soon. Maybe when you get your cast off, you'll also get your braces off too. End quote. This is clearly meant as an offensive remark, as Jenna had her braces for over six years. The tweet was meant to compare Jenna's ever-present Tingrin with her equally ever-present crutches. Another hot topic of the week, an Andorian exchange student arrived this week through the Rotary Club. He speaks English with an accent that is both French and Spanish, has a European style and an exotic flair. The school library released a statistic that the most commonly Googled key phrases of the week were, what language do they speak in Andorra? Followed by, are Andorian guys hot? And in third place is the Muna hologram. No one actually knows the Andorian's name, and he is simply referred to as the Andorian guy. A Dutch exchange student also arrived this week, but no one really cares, as one in three exchange students these days is from the Netherlands. The big news of the week, though, as most of you probably already know, Christina Amante and Kang Su Jin finally broke up. Kang told her friends in a private group message that she had been planning on doing it for two weeks, but couldn't do it before the school trip, and obviously couldn't do it right before winter formal. Of course, there are innumerable social implications for this breakup due to their mutual friends and King Su Jin's impressive popularity at school. My personal suspicion is that Christina is afraid that this breakup is going to leave her friendless when she loses all of King's friends. Of course, King wants to stay friends, and this would allow for no one to lose any friends at all, but Christina doesn't feel prepared to make that jump. In a private group chat with his guy friends, Nico fumed that the breakup would mean that Christina wouldn't be inviting Alexis, King Sujin's longtime BFF, oh to Christina's party Christina on Friday. Nico had hoped that anymore. he would be so able to actually stupid. get to second base at the party. That sums up this week's summary of everything worthy of being repeated. Thanks for watching, and I bid you adieu.